Hey everybody, welcome back to Fire Warrior. I'm still Negaroth. I have a special, a new special guest here with me. Uh, say hello, special guest. Hey, it's Wombat Cyborg. What's up? Wombat Cyborg. Hey. Uh, so yeah, we, uh, Ardeus is gonna probably not help us at all here as, as he Case does. is going. Yeah, I think he's just kind of waiting for us to clear the way for. Ultramarines, because that's what Ultramarines do, I think. Yeah, well, a Xeno is a Xeno. Yeah, just kind of expendable cannon fodder to be slaughtered. Yeah. But, yeah, we have this, uh, this fun little trench section here. It's usually a good idea, since they do start you out with a, a long-range weapon, to try to clear out the trenches before actually heading in there. There are a few nasty enemies that can be laying in wait and they usually try to take the high ground and try to jump you here. Yeah. But as you but as you can see, it, it's not too difficult to take them out ahead of time, especially from long range. And since they give you such a good gun. Yeah, they uh, they really want to drive home. Like I, I know I, I know like the Tau and the railgun were were pretty new still, so I, I know they were really trying to like push the idea of this Uber weapon, but. It's kind of dumb after a while. Is that Mecha Hitler? Uh, we playing Wolfenstein? So. Yeah, that that would actually be pretty fun. Like, I I actually never ended up playing the last Wolfenstein game that came out. It just it seemed like it might be interesting, but it was entertaining. It was a good rental, but I wouldn't have bought it. Yeah, and I, I mean I played uh, was it Return to Castle Wolfenstein? Yeah, that was one like was the, fun female Nazis, and just, I'm trying to remember, like, the last fight was against some, like, oh. big dude with a sword. Yeah, I cannot remember. And it's a very forgettable game. Jesus, that is really loud and annoying. <laughs> what, the Yeah. The raptors. Oh, no, just the, the background dang. noise of that, uh, chaos Oh, yeah, thing. yeah, the fuck, yeah, the fucking portals, the yeah, I can imagine yeah, they, that getting annoying when you replay a level seven times. Yeah, and the the best thing about those are that they are just instant death. Oh, like, fun. Yeah, so if you're just walking forward there and you don't know that portal's, you know, about to pop up and you just keep on walking, you'll just keel over dead. Haha, <laughs> sucker, replay our level again. Yeah, especially the checkpoints are kind of oddly strewn out in this level, so it's it can be kind of an annoyance to die sometimes. Yeah, I can imagine. And it, it, I mean, the sound is bad, but it's also the only indication you have of when the portal isn't dangerous anymore. Uh. So Yeah, it took me a while to figure that out through trial and error. <laughs> you know, those raptors and, must only exist as an annoyance. Yeah, I mean, if what if you learn to like lead them properly, they you know they just go down with one shot of the railgun. If you're meeting them for the first time and they're moving all erratically around, yeah, you're just gonna like keep on missing shots and it's gonna become a massive annoyance. And this is actually a pretty dickish trap here. Like that uh, that particular chaos marine there had a had a missile launcher. Oh. And. Yeah, pretty much two shots from that will kill you. Yeah, that is kind of a dick move. Yeah, but for some reason, uh, enemies in this game cannot aim downwards, pretty much. So if you just stay ducked, they will not hit you. So this game was originally developed for the Doom engine? Uh, probably. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm surprised they can even, like, shoot up or down and everything's not just hit scan. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, more than anything, like, it's just, for this particular level, it's just, like, r figuring out where the ambushes are going to be and Real trying to vaguely remember. Them. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, none of them are too difficult. It's just, some of them are actually kind of required to do. Like, I think there was a part that was a little bit further back where you basically had to go into a dead end mm. to, like continue on through the level. Nice little glitch yeah. there. 
Yeah, I don't... That's actually kind of a weird little... I don't even know why they put that enemy there, because you've been fading, facing, like, raptors and chaos sorcerers and chaos marines, and just one random room, there's a single chaos servo skull. You know, this game would have been so much better if instead of, you know, chaos space marine raptors, they just went Jurassic Park and put actual raptors fighting you. Yeah, I'm just, Well, yeah, I mean, like, uh... I don't know, maybe, like, a bloodthirster would have worked. I'm just thinking what, like, quick demon would probably work in that sense. Like, to be a raptor. Well, raptors. Just... Give them some horns, you know, paint some chaos symbols on the side. If they're already going to half-ass such elements of this game, might as well. Yeah, there, well, there has to be some kind of, like, dinosaur in the, in the year 40k, right? Yeah, totally. Some space marine chapter out there riding around on you know, saddles on T-Rexes and Stegosauruses. I'm sure there's fanfic about it. Yeah, I was, uh, I was reading up on the, the anger marines. Yeah, I was reading my, uh... I was reading some slash fic. It was um, uh, Space Marine X Velociraptor. That yeah, it sounds. It sounds <laughs> I hope sounds that's not a real anime. thing. It probably is. Oh god. And and actually, uh, that was actually another shitty little ambush there. They decided to pop another Chaos Space Marine with a rocket launcher directly in your face without any kind of notice. That was a terrible secret objective just there. Yeah, I mean, you could easily miss it uh, through these walls of whatever the hell graphics these are supposed to be. I, th Shaders. I think the guy. Yeah, I think the guy I or the guide I read was like, jump through the fire, and I'm like, I'm trying to like figure out where the hell this fire is that they're talking about. Like, and that is an astoundingly yeah. terrible weapon now that you have the uh, real gun. Yeah. Uh, the 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 way they implemented the melter is just really odd in the game. Like you you don't get it till way way later on. Like this is pretty much end game right now. Yeah. And it it's very short range and it just eats through ammo. And, and really, you really only have the occasional pickup. So I mean. Yeah, like for the most part, you're not really gonna find ammo for it. And really, you are not going to ever want to be within shooting range of actually using it, because that's... Point blank, pretty much. Yeah. And the enemy, like, a Chaos Marine with, like, a, a missile launcher does not care about himself getting blown up, because he will just shoot you in the face. Yeah. But, you know, thankfully, uh, as I'm sure you've been able to tell, they give you just an endless amount of railgun ammo. Like, yeah, like I think, like, right now, I'm at full railgun ammo. And I don't think I've dropped below that, really. Yeah, it's kind of strange, since you're, like, infiltrating a chaos base or whatever, and there's all these fire warriors lying around. Yeah, with the most dangerous Tau weapon ever created. Like, how do you even I mean, die when you're holding that thing? Um... I'm just, I assume it must be awful, like, when things are in melee. Yeah. Or for, for actually, like, agile enemies. Like, if I wasn't so pro at, uh... Yeah, if it know, wasn't for your raptors. pro Halo skills. Yeah. You know, pistol sniping. Of course. If they, if they gave me, like, a real sword in this, I'd go, like, pure melee. <laughs> Except, thankfully, the sword in this is just awful. And that's for the best. But actually, like, this large, large room here, um, you want to make sure and clear out the raptors as quickly as possible because something bad ends up coming out of this chaos gate here. That? Yeah. Like, uh, the first demon prince was pretty easy to deal with because he just kind of stood in one place and let you shoot at him. Oh, jeez. This, this one's, uh... Yeah, this, this one this learned one self-preservation. Yeah, this one must be, like, wearing fucking Terminator armor or something, because I don't think he's supposed to be able to teleport around like that. I, I don't yeah. think the developers really cared what he was wearing. I think they are just like, ah, oh, fuck it, make him teleport. Yeah, not not to mention, if, if you can tell, he is doing a lot of damage. 
and I've I think I've shot him about six times with the railgun. Yeah, but you haven't been getting headshots. Well, yeah, it's well that it's time a bit you did. Yeah, it's just a bit hard. Finally, he goes down. And there's there's a lot of little side rooms that I think I end up going into one of them just to go find some health. Most of them don't really have anything worth exploring for. Maybe a bit of extra ammo, but like you need it. Yeah. Also, this is, I mean this is pretty much the end of the stage. Even though they they want to confuse you here, and you're like, well, I'll get through this and trippy. Yeah, that's uh pretty much the only time we'll ever see that effect. They can only and afford it, to use it one time. Yeah, and then they put you into like this really. I, that I really an auto gun. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. He uh, he'll shoot plasma very rarely. Oh, it's one of those yet. obliterators. I couldn't tell at first. Yeah, he's a uh, he's an obliterator, obliterating it up. You know, this game was just kind of bad, but at this point it's just sad. Yeah, I mean, it was bad enough spending, like, the first six levels only fighting, like, the same IG guys over and over and over again, and then this becomes just, like... Tedious. And smooth. Yeah, I don't... I that don't was just actually, to showcase it. I don't, I don't actually know what killed me there. Normally, like, I jump in there, and it's it's perfectly fine. That time, I think Case maybe, like, hit his head on the edge of the pool, and he's just drowning. Just drowning. He, yeah, he was so, high-diving in less than six feet of water. Yeah. But, yeah, I, since I haven't really died that much or shown off that many deaths, I figured it, it would be okay to leave this one in, because... Who doesn't want to watch the Demon Prince fight again? Oh, lovely. But, I mean, it, it also allows me to point out, though I, I, it's becoming kind of repetitive to say, yet another dick move. Where after you do fight this guy, you probably think, like, oh, it's the end of the level. No, it ends up being that you then had to fight, you know an obliterator and a chaos sorcerer in the very next room. So. But it's basically the end of the level. Yeah, as long as you don't die by jumping into the, the exit. Yeah, as long as the game doesn't cheat you out of victory. Yeah. Well, I was, I was actually a bit surprised that Demon Prince fight went by in like... That was a quick one. 20 set. yeah. I think that took like half the number of shots. Yeah, I don't... I was like, oh, I got Melter ammo. Let's use that. Because it's very useful. <laughs> AI. He's like... Gameplay. Prob yeah. It almost looks like he has a hand and it's holding a gun. I think that's his little plasma launcher right there. That he barely ever uses. Yeah. And I, I finally did run out of Melter gun ammo. That took forever. Also, I... I just remembered right now, but if you'll notice, like, I lost my, my HUD. Oh, yeah, I, I saw that. I don't know how. But, yeah, that's the end of the, the mission. I want to thank my guest for joining me. Yeah, anytime. I'll see you later. See, see you.